Hi Ash Class! I've got a storybook for you today that's a different one about pancakes because you've been thinking lots about pancakes this week about how to make them ready for Shrove Tuesday next week. This book is called Poppy's Pancake Day and it's by Sue Graves and Jane Eccles. Hmm, what do you think is going to happen in this story? It looks like Poppy, I think this is Poppy, is going to make a lot of mess. But I think the cat might quite enjoy it because look, his tongue is sticking out. And even Poppy is licking her lips there. Poppy's Pancake Day, a humorous rhyming story. What does humorous mean? That's right, if something's humorous, it's funny. If you have a good sense of humour, it might mean that you find things funny. Or if you say something humorous, you're saying something funny. And it's also a rhyming story, so listen out as I read for those rhymes, remember, where the words sound the same at the end. Oh, and it tells us here, it's written by Sue Graves, so she is the author, and it's illustrated by Jane Eccles, so she is the illustrator. And here they are, look. Sue Graves says, My family loves pancakes, but no one is very good at tossing them. Have you ever made pancakes? Wonder if you have ever tried yet. You may rem remember, you must make them with a grown-up because you have to have the pan very hot, so you need to be very careful. Jane Eccles says, I'm pretty good at making pancakes. I'm not as messy as Poppy anyway. I especially love drawing animals. I wonder if she drew this self-portrait of herself. Shall we find out what happens in the story? Mum was feeling poorly. She felt faint and very ill. I think I'll go to bed, she said. I must have caught a chill. Oh dear, they're not looking very happy, are they? Poppy made her cups of tea. Dad bought a magazine. They're kind. But Mum just sat there sneezing and looking rather green. Ah, tissue! Look, there's the pussycat trying to warm her up as well. Poor Mum could do with cheering up, Dad said. She looks so pasty. Why don't we try to make her smile by cooking something tasty? Oh, look, they're getting the cookery books out. Poppy looked at recipes to see what she could find. There were lots of pies and pastries and cakes of every kind. How to bake cakes, pies, biscuits, pastries, cherry pie, lots of different ideas. Oh dear, said Dad, those look too hard. Let's make something easy. What about a sandwich or toast that's thick and cheesy? Pancakes are her favourite food, said Poppy with a smile. We could make lots of different ones and stack them in a pile. So Dad got eggs and butter, Poppy flour and jam. Then she got out the weighing scales while Dad looked for the pan. Can you read the speech bubble? Got it. Got it. And look, there's an exclamation mark because he's very happy that he's got it. There she is with her scales to make sure that she weighs out all the right amounts for the ingredients. Poppy whisked the mixture. She turned the mixer high. The pancake mix spun round so fast it hit Dad in the eye. Uh-oh. I wonder if you've ever used one of these. I've got one at home and I'm always worried that if I turn it too fast it will spray it everywhere. I think the cat's quite happy though, look. Soon the mix was ready. Time to cook them now, Dad said. Mum is going to love them. She can eat them up in bed. Oh, look, it says here, sizzle, sizzle. Let's put the butter in the pan. And this is Dad imagining, thinking about how Mum will look when she's got her nice plate of pancakes upstairs. Dad poured the mixture in the pan, then tossed it in the air. The pancake landed with a plop on top of Poppy's hair. Oops, Dad says. Look, Emeralds. Air. Air. Dark air. Special friend. My turn now, said Poppy. She gave the pan a flip. The pancake shot up skywards and then began to tip. Gulp. 
Uh oh, what do you think is going to happen? It hovered for a moment and then spun round and round and with a very squelchy splat, it landed on the ground. Splat. Oh no! Who do you think is saying, oh no? We can see the speech bubble, but not the character. I wonder, maybe both of them. So Dad and Poppy mopped the floor and cleaned up all the mess, then went to see how Mum felt now that she had had a rest. They're very good at tidying up, aren't they? I'm feeling better now, said Mum. Why, look, it's half past three. Let's go and make some pancakes as a special treat for tea. Oh no, oh no. How do you think Dad and Poppy are feeling about the idea of making more pancakes? Mm, I think they might have had enough of pancakes. Maybe Mum will make some for them as a treat instead. Look, there's the pussycat. I think he quite enjoyed having lots of pancake mix. I hope you enjoyed that one. And I hope that if you manage to make some pancakes next week, you don't get in quite so much mess as Poppy and her dad. Bye for now, Ash Class.